Okay, guys, if you remember that my series here is just kind of collecting up some of the uh, transitional stuff that I'm doing and learning R, transitioning over from Visual Basic and uh, Minitab to the R.NET environment. What you see in front of you is the R Studio interface, and what I want to go through is the R equivalent of what I did yes, last time with the F Sharp. I'm going to uh, connect to a database and extract some data. To do that, I'm going to use the RODBC. So what you can see, I've already got RODBC here. But if I didn't have it, install RODBC right there. Hit install, and it would install it. Then come down, select it. It's now active. So it's a uh, package. I'm going to use it. So first, I'm going to... Let's have a look see at R O D B C. Okay, takes me over here to the methods that are available in R O D B C. So um, I'm going to connect to an access database. I'm using Windows 8.0, and I'm going to walk through that rather quickly, given that uh, there are some peculiarities. So uh, to use this, I need a DSN. Uh, I can do the connection string, but I'm going to use DSN. So I'll go here to um, <clears throat> the control panel. That can be got gotten to by right-click control panel. And then ODBC connections. And I'm going to set up an ODBC data connection. And see, I already have one established, but I'm going to add a new one. Add. You can see Microsoft Access Driver. MDB, ACCDB. So if you don't see this, what you may have to do is go to the, the download center for Microsoft and, and download the Microsoft Access Database Engine 2010 redistribution. Download that, re install it, and that will allow you to establish uh, this Microsoft Access drivers. So we'll select that, finish. Okay, we'll give it data source name. So we'll call this test2. Okay, and we will select our database. And we're going to go to the F Sharp database that I have on my E drive. And I'm going to select the R ODBC uh, Access database. Okay. Okay, and OK. So back here in R, I'm interested in establishing a ODBC connection. So I see that I can ask through RODBC for my data sources. So ODBC data source, there we go, ODBC list of ODBC data sources. So O D B C data source. Okay. Whoops, did I do something wrong? O D B C data sources needs an S. Okay. So I see I have uh, my original one and I have test two. So I want to connect to them. So O D B C connect will open the ODBC connection. So ODBC connect. And I want to uh, feed that to something. I might open a channel. ODBC connect. And I want to connect to test2. There are several parameters that go in this, but for the access, I believe all the default parameters work. It will also uh, set parameters based on the feed the uh, response of the database. Okay, DSN. Okay, object test two not found. And so I'm covering a bunch of errors here. Okay, so now I have 
my connection and I would like to see what tables are available. So SQL tables, list of tables in the ODBC connection. So SQL tables, my feed at the, my connection. Okay, there we go. So uh, we know this table here is really the one we're interested in. So we would like to fetch that table. So And two parameters here. First is the channel, ch, and then the uh, table. Okay, so there we go. Uh, uh, we'd like to actually put that to something, so we'll uh, put that in a data frame. As opposed to just viewing it. Okay, and there we go. We can look at it. So uh, again, this video just covers what I had previously done with F Sharp and just to go over some of the work that I previously done with Visual Basics. You can do the same uh, ODBC connections through Minitab to get to a database, but this is, shows the methodology for doing that with R and uh, walks through those individuals who have Windows 8.0 and aren't seeing the .acdb connection uh, DSN driver. Uh, hope this was of some value to you. Thank you for your time.